Hey everyone, Shebim here and welcome back to some more of our Manchester United career mode. We are in the business end of the season now. We're currently three points at the top of the table with seven games remaining. Well, we're currently six points at the top of the table, but Man City have a game in hand. We have seven games remaining um, and we're also in the Champions League as well. Can we go on and win the league? That's the big, big question. Uh, let's get to the end of the month. Let's um, get all the, the Youth Academy goodness into our systems. First of all, Callum Bell, 75 to 94. Jay White, 75 to 94. 87 to 93. We're going to take you up into the main squad now, then. Kai Schlut, 82 to 94. 82 to 94, Morgan Hall. Um, 69 to 89, you're a goner. 68 to uh, 88, you're a goner. Uh, where were we? Down here, then. Callum Hall. 76 to 94, yep. 70, uh, 82 to 94, yep. 89 to 94. I, I, I'm in love with this man. I really am. Uh, 85 to 91 as well for Archie Mitchell. 85 to 91 for Schlutz, uh, which I think is going to bring him up into the main squad now as well. And then Bruno Fernandes as well. And then uh, Edson Royce, you are gone, my friend. Well, that's a, a really, really good set of players we've got there. Can we add to them? Antonio Bustos is not going to be the one to do so. Um, Jara is a shout. We're going to take him up. Uh, you're not, and you're not, and you are not. Okay. Next up, Karila, who is in America still. Victor Campbell's a no. Martin's a no. Pierce Clark's a no. Daniel Henry's a no. Donald Wood. Joseph Wilson's definitely a yes. Pierce Evans is a no. We'll continue scouting Wood for another month. And then finally in England, Callum Hughes is a no. Elliot Brown is a, a maybe. You're a no. You're a no. You're a no. Are we still scouting this? No. Okay. So let's take Elliot Brown and then let's send you back out to England for another nine months and see what greatness you can find. It's amazing to think that we're sending these players to England all the time, yet we're not actually bringing through that much great English talent. They don't seem to be doing quite as well. I might have to do some sort of research at some point and just see what happens when you scout the bigger nations compared to smaller nations because it seems to me like the bigger nations although I've read in lots of places that they don't get better players I think they definitely do get better players in my opinion anyway right Brighton here's the team it's looking pretty good still injuries though to Rashford and Pogba uh, which has seen Hughes is now to a 69 Nice, really. Um, on the bench, uh, one per Saxon to 89. Jimenez up to a 90. Delete up to an 89. Uh, Grimaldo's 87. We could actually end up with a full 90 team here at some point in this career. That's my aim, is to get every single player in the starting lineup to a 90 plus. That'll be the that's the dream. So May Knight versus Brighton, big game. We need to win, and we start things off with a 4-0 victory. Goals from Fernandez, Habert, Sancho. And Martial, they're sharing the goals around today. Excellent. And it's PSG in the quarterfinals of the Champions League. As we continue the training. Courier goes up to a 62. Uh, so Hughes is almost up the 10 stat points, which means once he is, we just need to play him in 10 games then, and that will complete one of the other missions, which is a two-year mission, so it's not a major issue. Um, so, yeah, PSG next. Um, I don't think there's much we can change here. I think Pogba and Rashford are still out. Yep, they are. So I think this is the best team we currently have available. So uh, it's the team we're going to have to go up against PSG with. Away from home in the first leg. Remember, we lost 2-1 to Real Madrid in the first leg away from home. Then we come back and beat them in the second leg. We lose 1-0 today away at PSG. So we're going to have to dig it out in the second leg then by the looks of it. Uh, up Meccano, I don't know what he's talking about, the recent chances, but um, is he happy with the fact he's coming off the bench a lot, maybe? I don't know. Um, we're going to rest a couple of players here, just for that game uh, upcoming once again against uh, Bitty Bob, PSG, in a few days' time. So we're going to rest Dembele and... Um, who else do we take out? Jimenez. They're both a little bit unfit, so... Up Makano wants to play, and that's handy because I put him in the squad. 2-0 win. 
Grimaldo and Dembele. Now, I always say that I will play one game per season. I'm a little bit... I don't know, this... I could play this game against PSG, but I really want to win the Premiership. So I'm thinking of saving it just in case I need it for the Premiership, because we're only three points up in the Premiership. So I'm thinking of just saving it just in for that, but... Um, I don't know. I really don't know. We've got someone returning from injury, though. Is that Rashford? No, it's Pogba. Okay. Let's bring Pogba back onto the bench then. Uh, so we can give him a little bit of first-team football. Um, for this game against PSG, it's a big one. We're losing 1-0 from the first leg. We need to win tonight. Ah, it's 1-1. One, one. We're out. We are out of the Champions League. Look at their front three. Mbappe, Messi and Neymar. With Arthur, Milinkovic, Savic. Wow, no wonder PSG are doing well. I wonder if Mbappe is one I can challenge for in the summer. That's not a bad shout. We've got tons of money. Why not go out for Mbappe? Jimenez, I rested you for one game. How can you be bitching? I rested you for two games. I apologise. But still, how are you moaning? Uh, Pog was still going to sit on the bench for now. Uh, Rashford is back though, so Hughes comes back off. Um, Rashford comes onto the bench just to try and give them a little bit of first team football just to get them back into it. Watford now then. Ah, we are five points up in the league with five games remaining. I think we've done it, you know. I think we might actually win the Premiership this season. Let's not be too hasty though. We need to make sure we win these games still. 3 1 win against Watford. Tonali, Havertz, and Rodrigo with the goals. I left Usman Dembele out for that PSG game as well, didn't I? I messed that up, didn't I? Right, Manuel goes up to a 69, which is nice. How close are we to finishing that mission off now, then? I don't think we are going to actually complete it fully, but we are getting pretty close, surely. We're 93% the way done. It's only got to be three players. I'm doing five. Okay. It's only got to be three players. So, which three are we actually doing at this point in time? Squad hub. Um, attributes. Right, so McNeil's up. Okay, that's not what I'm doing, is it? Oh, it doesn't show because I only sign him up to the academy, doesn't it? So it doesn't actually show how fast some have actually gone up. Because obviously it's been... Um, who's I been doing? Uh, it's not actually showing at all, is it? Okay. Ferrari's up four now, which is nice. See, Walsh and McMahon could be useful next season as well, if they're good enough. Yeah, it doesn't actually show because I've only been... Uh, but a lot of it was in the academy, okay. We'll just have to go blind at it then. I think it's the uh, the players we've got in the, uh, the training at the moment, the free, uh, first free. Burning with five points up. Can we win this? Five points up with three games left. 2-0, Rodrigo and Dembele with the goals. Okay, and we've hit 100 points. Renero goes up to a 65. I think it's Renero, Manuel and Hughes are the three that I need to get up. I don't think it's going to happen though, is it? Um, let me remember now to actually put um, Dembele back in the team. Okay, so Rashford and Pogba still not 100% fit. They are getting a bit of time off the bench though. I'm thinking I could bring in Mbappe and sell Martial. Just to step it up to the next level, you know. Southampton, if we win this, we could be like on the brink of winning the Premiership. So 3 no win, Grimaldo, Sancho and Rodrigo with the goals. We're on the brink, ladies and gentlemen. We are on the brink of greatness. We've got to be, haven't we? 
Oh, have we done it? We're, we're 10 points ahead of Man City and they've got three games. We've won the league. Surely we won the league. We must have done. Hughes is close to a 70 now as well, which is nice. I think we've won the league. And it's the beginning of the new month as well, even better. Youth squad updates. Callum Bell. Okay, we'll keep you. Elliot Brown's okay. Kai Schlut, again, doing pretty well. Jay White's okay. Morgan Hall's okay. You're okay. Archie Mitchell, 85 to 91. Good. Evan Sullivan, 82 to 94. Good. 81 to 94 is good. 89 to 94 is fantastic. 86 to 94 is good. Uh, Lino, you're gone, though. 86 to 94, though. I think you're another one that's going to get brought up, though. Uh, let's leave you for now, actually. I want to keep an eye on you. Uh, youth Scout monthly reports, though. You're a no. We haven't got any good Argentinians yet, have we? I think this is the third month of Argentinians now. It looks like... Is this the third month? It is. Okay. Cano, well, you're coming in. Next up, then we've got England again. You're a no. No. Oh, Alfie Morgan's a goodie. Love a bit of you. Sam Richardson. We'll take Patrick Harrison as well. Peter Watson's a no. Harvey Hill's a no. And then finally, we have the Americans. We've actually found a... Oh, I've just signed I didn't want to. Oh, we'll definitely sign Pierre Campbell, though. Wow. We've actually found quite a good few Americans, actually. I'm, I'm surprised how many good ones we've found. Okay. Okay. Right then, so let us go to youth staff. And let's send these two off somewhere else. I'm feeling a bit of a bit of Canada. I don't know why. I just found Oh no, let's go Mexico actually. I want to go a bit Mexico. And then I I'm actually no, you know what? I'm actually gonna go Canada as well. Mexico and Canada, let's go for the full North Americans. Right. Um, right. I think we've won the league. We've got two games remaining, and we're 10 points ahead of Man City. We've got three games remaining. So I think we're as good as won it, to be honest with you. We have two games remaining, though. West Brom and Jarbin is one of them. Is uh, Man City going to catch up? No, there's still one game short on us. Okay, well, we're going to continue on with our strongest team at this point in time. Rashford and Pogba still sit on the bench because they're still not 100% fit. We get a 4-1 victory. One for Fernandez, two for Havertz, one for Sancho. Rashford did come off the bench and play a little bit today. And surely, well, yeah, we, we're, we've got one game left. We're 10 points up. We won the league. Surely. There we go. Hughes is now up by 10 points. That's good. So Hughes now needs to play 10 games next season. Oh, we completed that. We completed it. Okay. I'll take it. I didn't think we'd done that, to be honest, but I'll take it. Okay. That's that complete. So next season now, we just need to... Uh, Get him to play 10 games as well as four others. That's going to be the problem, isn't it? So last game of the season is Aston Villa. We can actually start using him now, can't we, actually? Thinking about it. Let's play him today. In place of Sancho. Hughes, okay. Because he needs to play 10 games now, doesn't he? Um, Rashford's in. And... Uh, Pogba's in. So I don't think you and the other guy have got up 10 points yet, have you? So we'll leave you out for now. Right, so... Aston Villa. We're playing Hughes in his first ever game. We get 4-0 victory goals for Delete Pogba... Dembele and Rodrigo. There we go. Premiership confirmed. We did it. We did it. Woo! -hoo. Right, so now we can stop training Hughes. Don't need to do that anymore. And um, we can start training somebody else now, though, I suppose. Get someone else up. 
So there's another... Was there another right back or left back? I don't think so, was there? No, I think everyone's good, aren't they? Um... Hmm, who's really good? I don't know. We need to start getting people up by 10 stat points, don't we now, though? So let's um, pick someone else who we want to get up by 10 stat points. Maybe let's let's push it on... Um, where is he? Where is he? Is it not Rafferty? Is it, it is you, the Victor Manuel. Okay. So you're already 69, though, aren't you? So we don't need to push you too hard, really. Goalkeeper-wise, we're not going to go too mad on. Midfielder-wise, I think it's going to have to be... Where's the young lad? Where's um, Castro? Leandro Castro. Okay, we're doing you defensive-wise. Let's give you some attacking stuff as well, then, possibly. Or passing. You're actually already really good at passing, aren't you? Okay, let's do you a bit of um, short passing and vision. That'll level you up a bit quicker, hopefully. There we go. Castro goes up to a 60. See, so we just need to get these players leveled up by 10 points and then play them in 10 games. Five of them we need. We've got one already. So we need a few more, if we can. Uh, we're going to get a lot of training in now before the end of the season as well. I mean, it wasn't ideal. We didn't do that well in the Champions League or FA Cup. We did win the league, we completed the youth, and we completed the shirt sales. Um, next season, hopefully, we can do a bit better. And if it wasn't for the De Gea injury, we could have won the uh, the Carabao Cup again. We could have hopefully kept in the FA Cup as well. So we need to try and level up one or two goalkeepers just to be strong for us. So we continue pushing through here now. Um, stopping Sim. Let's get some more training in. So Kouash, whatever his name is, is up a decent amount already as well. Uh, Granero goes up to a 66. I think that's going to be it. I think it's going to be Granero and the right back as well. The right back and left back. I think it'll be pretty damn good. All right, here we go. A bit more youth scouting. Let's check the youth squad. 79 to 94, 75 to 93, 82 to 92. Huh? 86 to 92, sorry. Wow, yeah, you're the one that I accidentally signed up, aren't you? Yeah, I remember now. 78 to 94, 84 to 94, 77 to 94, 78 to 88. You're gone. Uh, 85 to 91, 83 to 94, 85 to 94, 89 to 94, and we can now sign you up, Vasco Granero, as well. Let's get you in the squad. Oh, is that saying I can't because my squad's full? Ooh, okay, that's a problem. Our squad is currently full. Okay, I'm going to have to let a few players go then in the summer, I think. i have to let a few players go that are not progressing well. There's a nice uh, Canadian there, 79 to 94 potential. Uh, they're all pretty good, actually. Let's um, continue scouting all of these. Uh, next up, then we've got Mexico. And um, we'll continue scouting one of them. We'll continue scouting both of these, actually. And then finally, we have England. I've never had a full squad before. We have been bringing up a lot of young players, I suppose. Now we just need to be a bit more brutal and get rid of some of the ones that are not good enough. Uh, let's continue scouting these lot as well, then. So it's good that we're coming into the summer transfer window. We can be a bit more um, lethal there. We can get rid of a few players that we know are not going to quite be at the right level for us. Oh, just about got the training. Ah, stop, stop, stop. I thought I pressed it. Right, so Manuel is now a 70, which is nice. Yeah, so I'm going to have to go through at the uh, beginning of next season, I think, and identify who's worth keeping and who's not. Right, let's get more training done. I think Manuel is now up by, seven point, uh, by 10 points as well, which is good. 
Should get one more lot of training in before the end of the season. There we go. Boom. So we won the league by nine points this season, which is fantastic. Castro goes up to a 62. That's him up by quite a few this season. I think he was 56 when he came in. So that's him up by quite a few as well this season. And this should be the end of the year now, then I believe. I'd be surprised if we don't keep our job, to be honest. I think we're in a good position. Ooh. Got nine pieces of news. End of the season. Well, that's what it says. Now the season has come to an end. The main United board has met to review your performance. We did achieve all our objectives, but we believe the overall is satisfactory performance. And we hope better for next year. And you're the right person for the job. There we go. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's the end of today's video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Of course, if you have, then please do hit a like. And of course, subscribe if you want to see some more. We'll be back next time to continue on with Season 4 of our Manchester United career mode. And uh, before we start the video, I'm going to go through a lot of our younger players and be a bit brutal and clear a few out that I don't think are going to be at a good enough level for us. Um, and I'll see you very, very soon for more. I've said that already, haven't I? So I've completely ruined the outro. I've completely ruined the outro. I'm going. Bye.